Good morning, everyone. Um, happy Thursday. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's gray. It's cloudy. It's supposed to snow tonight. So, you know, just another day in Denver. <laughs> it was almost 70 degrees and sunny yesterday, but uh, it is what it is. And hopefully you guys are all um, staying warm, staying cozy and um, having a good day. So, uh, the quote today I wanted to share with you guys is um, about where we direct our attention. So um, I know we've been talking a little bit this week about, yes, we have bad days. Yes, it's totally okay and normal to feel sad and alone and um, anxious, all those, all those worries that come with the situation like we're in. Um, but when you're in that space and you want to try and get out of it, where, where do you direct your attention? Where, where do you go to? Um, you know, there's only so much we can do to control the situation outside of us, but we can practice and try to control the situation inside of us. Um, and yes, I said practice because of course, easier said than done as with everything. <laughs> Um, but where, uh, where do you try to move your attention to? Where do you try to redirect your energy? Um, for me, these videos are it, <laughs> you know, this, this staying connected with all of you guys helps me every single morning. Um, it's allowing me to keep a regular schedule for myself. It's forcing me to get out of my pajamas, even though that's just leggings and a cozy sweater, it's still not my pajamas. Um, it's allowing me to connect and keep touch and keep base with all of you guys. All the feedback and the comments that we get are, are so appreciated. Um, so for me, coming to this practice with all of you, doing a little breath work, doing a little mindfulness, a little meditation. Um, that is, that's what's helping me through all of this. So um, I'd love to know what's helping you guys through all of this and where you try to direct your attention when maybe you're having a bad day or when the negative thoughts are starting to take over. So love to hear some feedback, love to get your comments on that. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure this is all set up. Okay. You guys can't see it, but my computer is um, doing quite the balancing act on a couch and some couch cushions. So every time I come back here, it's just a hope that my computer doesn't crash and fall forward. So if that happens one day, so be it. This is what happens when you do Facebook Live. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead, come to a nice tall seat. We're going to have our feet flat on the floor, hips heavy in the chair. Feel a good grounding sensation through the lower half of your body. And then allow your spine to get a little longer. Feel yourself sit up a little taller. Top of the head reaches towards the ceiling. And go ahead, just relax your shoulders down. And come to a nice steady seat. Good. As always, we'll start with three deep breaths. I invite you to close your eyes here. And we'll take a deep inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in and a slow breath out. Good. And as a reminder, you always have that breath to return to. If you're ever having a moment where you're feeling anxious or worried or just a little sad, that's okay. Give yourself some time, give yourself some space and just take a few breaths. To focus on each inhale and each exhale and see what it does for you. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with our legs, our lower extremities. Bare slippers are on, we're ready to go. So go ahead and bring the legs straight out in front of you, and then we're going to start by pointing and flexing. Pointing and flexing. Good. So your toes should be moving away from. 
from your body, and then towards your body, away from your body, towards your body. And just keep doing that nice and easy. Get the blood flow going. Get a little movement into the body. And as always, if you can't see physical motion in the body, that's okay. Go ahead, close the eyes, and watch as your body energetically moves. Good, and keep the breath moving in and out, slow and steady. Nice job, and thank you guys all, as always, for joining. I really appreciate it. All right, when you're done with that, go ahead and keep those legs straight out in front of you as best as possible, but then keep the toes flexed back towards your face. So the bottom of your feet should be shooting straight out and your toes are back in towards the body. Then we're going to take our hands and just reach straight out in front, reaching for your toes. Try to keep the spine long and lifted here. Allow the breath to continue to move easily. And then just begin to notice what sensations you feel in the back of the leg. Maybe you notice a slight stretch in the calves or the hamstrings. Just bring awareness to that part of the body and allow yourself to feel as the muscles gently stretch away from one another. No need to force anything or cause any pain. Try to release and relax with every exhale. Good. Take one more deep breath in here. And then exhale slowly. Come on back up to seated. Nice job, you guys. All right. Seated position again. Hips are heavy. Feet come back flat to the floor. And now we're going to draw our knees in opposite directions here. So you can use your hands or your arms if you're to create just a little extra leverage or just feel free to use the muscles of the thighs and we're just going to simply draw our knees away from one another and this should allow a nice gentle stretch a good opening on the inside of the thighs your hip adductor muscles and as always keep the breath moving try to relax the shoulders down let go of any tension that you might have in your jaw. Just let that go. Good. Take a deep breath in. And a soft breath out. One more just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Good. One more big inhale here. And then exhale, slowly come on back up to seated. Good. Bring the knees back together again. Once again, spine comes long and lifted and hips are heavy. So now we're going to stretch the back side of our thighs here. Uh, I'm sorry, the back side of our hips here. So we'll start with the right leg. As you inhale, spine lengthens, sit up nice and tall. And then we'll draw that right knee into the chest. And as you exhale, maybe deepen that stretch a little bit, squeezing the leg a little closer. Or if it feels okay, cross it over to the opposite leg. Good. And just keep the breath moving. Notice what sensations are happening in the right side of that hip. With every inhale, sit up a little taller. And with every exhale, maybe gently draw that knee in a little closer to the torso, hugging it in towards your body. And just notice, notice again if you're holding on to anything or clenching the jaw, maybe the muscles of the face are all stretched. Try to let that go. Good, one more deep breath in, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, release that leg down. Good. We'll switch sides. So inhale, spine lengthens. And then draw the left knee up into your torso. 
Right against the body. As you exhale, maybe squeeze a little tighter or maybe cross it over the opposite leg if that's Just noticing, noticing what you feel on the back side of the left hip here. Allowing an opening for those muscles. And just relaxing into every exhale. Trying to let go of something with each breath out. Good. Take one more deep breath in here. Sit up nice and tall. And then exhale. Release the left leg down. Go ahead and relax. And we'll just take a breath here to reset. So take a deep breath in and exhale, let all that go. Nice job, you guys. We're going to get a little rotation into the trunk now here. So keeping the feet heavy, keeping the hips heavy, everything rooting and grounding to the lower half of the body. Take a deep breath in as you sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, we're going to twist over to the right. Again, having some options, you can either grab on hold to the back of your chair, the seat of your chair, or maybe you just grab on to your own leg for a little extra leverage. Wherever you feel stable here, watch as the spine lengthens with the breath in, and then maybe twist a little deeper with the breath out. Good, perhaps the gaze comes over the right shoulder, just try not to force anything, allowing the movement to be natural and easy, no pain. One more breath in, sit up a little taller, lengthen that spine, and then exhale slowly, come back through center. Good, we'll switch sides. So once more, inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, twisting over to the left side. Once more, using your chair or maybe the side of your leg for a little leverage. Whatever feels good here. Creating space with the breath in, stretching the spine away from itself. And then as you exhale, moving into that space created with the breath out. Notice if you're holding any extra tension in any other parts of the body. Try to let that go as you exhale. Good. Take one more deep breath in. Sit up nice and tall. And exhale slowly, slowly come back towards center. Good. Take a breath in here. And exhale. Let it all go. Nice job. So we're going to go ahead and stretch the back side of our body. Legs stay exactly where they're at. Lower half of the body remains heavy. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to lean forward, rounding the back of the body here. Just bringing the hands down towards the floor. Allow your head and neck to drip over down towards the ground. Just letting gravity Pull the weight of the body down, softly and gently, not forcing anything. If there's any pain or any uncomfortableness, just go ahead and back off a little bit. You want to make sure that you're still able to breathe nice and easy. There shouldn't be any discomfort. And just notice any sensations you feel in the back side of your body. Check in with the lumbar spine, which is your low back area. Good. Keep the breath moving, slow and steady. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, make your way back up to seated, nice and slow. And just give yourself a minute here. 
Allow the blood to resettle, let the pressure restabilize and bring your spine back in line. Good. So now we'll go ahead and open up the front side of the body here. So again, it always depends on the back of your chair here. If you have a little bit of a lower back, you can reach your spine over. Um, you always have the option of squeezing your shoulder blades together and just opening up the front here. Or you can also feel free to allow your arms to open up to either sides of the chair. Just opening up to either side of the body and then letting the front body relax here. Bringing your awareness to your pec muscles, abdominal muscles, and even the tissue and the muscles and everything that's going on here in the throat. Just allowing it to softly open. Make sure the breath is still moving slow and steady. There shouldn't be any restrictions or any forcing. Good, watching the chest as it rises with the inhale and gently falls with the exhale. Nice, take one more deep breath in here. And then exhale slowly, come on back up to seated. Good, take a breath in and a breath out. And those breaths just allow us to reset between each posture, right? It's easy sometimes to get wrapped up even in the postures that are supposed to be relaxing. And so if we take a breath in between each of them, it just allows us once again to come back to center, come back to our grounded position and resettle once more. All right, so we'll move on to our upper extremities. So feet stay flat, legs stay heavy. And the spine is going to get a little longer here. Low belly can pull in. Couple options. If you're able to, I invite you to clasp your hands here. Create a little bit of motion and mobility in the fingers and the hands. Um, you also have the option of clasping just with kind of a bigger grasp here. And then, or you can also just move one arm as you're able, whatever is going to be best for you. I'm going to go ahead and direct it with hands clasped. So if you're able to, follow along. Otherwise, make your modifications as necessary. So hips stay heavy again. And then inhale, fingertips reach up and over in the direction of the ceiling. And just try to imagine that your fingertips are getting a little lighter here, a little softer. And then allow any sensation be felt in the side bodies, maybe the armpits, all while relaxing the shoulders. And again, this might look really different for everybody, just depending, and that's okay. If you're here, just go ahead and be there. Maybe you're just working on clasping your hands, that's okay too. Wherever you're at in this moment, just be there. Breathe into that posture. Try to let go of any tension. I invite you to take one more deep breath in and try to reach a little higher, reach a little higher, reach a little higher, maybe one more higher, and then slowly, slowly, slowly come on down, relax those arms. Nice job. It's always a pretty tough one for our participants, so any bit of effort there. It's, it's good, it pays off. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna do um, shoulder blade glides, so scapular glides. I'll turn to the side again. If you have a table or a flat surface, feel free to use that and draw your hands along the top of the surface. If you're like me without a table, you can do just what I did and move your hands over an imaginary table or free, feel free to clasp your hands again, maybe grip one wrist and just move those shoulder blades up and around the rib cage. So if you're having a tough, a tough time feeling that, just pull your shoulder blades back a little bit 
maybe squeeze the shoulder blades and then feel what it feels like to move them away from one another. And so that's all it is. It's just a gentle motion in the shoulder blades, not a very big motion. Just allow your fingertips to reach up and away from your body. Noticing what your shoulder blades are doing or what sensations are coming up. Good. Take a deep breath in. Maybe fingertips reach a little further, getting a little bit more ability in those shoulder blades. And then exhale slowly. Come on back up to seated. Nice job, you guys. All right, coming back to center, we're now going to stretch the back side of our shoulders and we'll start with the right hand. So go ahead and as you inhale, bring it up and across the body. This is option number one. Maybe you're just reaching in the opposite direction. Option number two, you can grab onto your opposite shoulder and just allows a little bit of leverage to be had. Maybe a little stability, security here. And then option number three is you can use your opposite hand to create a little bit deeper of a stretch on the back side of that right shoulder. So whatever feels good here for you, whatever works best in your body, go ahead and let that be. And then just keep the breath moving. Notice if you're holding anywhere. Try to take a breath into that spot. And then as you exhale, let it go. Good, one more deep breath in, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, slowly release, let that arm come back down. Nice job, you guys, we'll switch sides. So bringing the left arm up and across the body. This is option number one, maybe you're just reaching in the opposite direction. Option number two, you can grab a hold of the opposite shoulder, just giving yourself a little bit more leverage to open up the back side of the left shoulder. Also giving you a little bit stability, a little bit of stability here. And then option number three again is bringing the opposite hand and just gently squeezing, feeling a little bit deeper of a sensation on the back side of the left shoulder. Good, and again, coming back to the breath. Keep the inhales and the exhales slow and steady. And just using the breath to let go of any tension, especially as you exhale, trying to soften. Take one more deep breath in, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, slowly release that arm down. Nice job. Now my favorite part, rolling out the shoulders here. This always just feels so good. Kind of letting your shoulders and your neck move however feels good for you right now. Maybe going forward and backwards, alternating. Just allowing there to be a little extra motion in your neck and your upper arms. Letting go of any extra tension that you might be holding on to. Good, and when you're ready, come back through center, take a nice deep breath in, and a soft breath out. Good, we're coming into our final two postures, so go ahead and once more, if you've fallen out of alignment, get yourself resettled, come back to that starting position Feet flat on the floor, knees bent, hips heavy. Feel your low belly gently pull in as your spine gets long. Sit up a little taller. Take the top of your head and reach it towards the ceiling as you take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. And I invite you to close your eyes here. No need to do anything in this moment. No expectations to uphold. Just allow gravity to gently draw the head away 
away from the left shoulder. Noticing any sensation you might feel on the left side of the neck. Watching as the muscles softly stretch away from one another. And just keep breathing here. Keeping your attention and awareness on the sensations in your body, in your breath. Take one more deep inhale here. And then exhale, come back through center. Good, take a deep breath in. And a soft breath out. Nice job, we'll go ahead and switch sides. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, head reaches towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. Once again, feel free to close your eyes or soften the gaze. And just try to allow yourself to let go here. No need to hold on to anything. No need to force anything. Just letting gravity gently draw the weight of your head away from the right shoulder. Awareness to the right side of the neck. Noticing what sensations you feel as the muscles softly stretch away from one another. Bringing your attention and your awareness back to the body, back to the breath. Good, take one more deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, slowly drop the chin down towards the chest. And just begin to make small circles with the head and the neck. Watching and feeling as the stretch moves all corners of the cervical spine. Be sure to switch directions. Making sure to even out the rotation. And maybe noticing a difference in sensation from one direction to the next. Giving yourself the space and the time to simply be aware as you're ready come back through center bring your spine back in line head directly over the body in between the shoulders once again lower half of the body stays heavy and rooted down into the floor down into your chair Spine sits up a little longer, a little lighter. Relax the shoulders down. Crown of the head reaches towards the ceiling. And we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes again. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Uh, let the breath just return back to normal. Let go of any patterns or any focal points or any forcing. And 
just give yourself a minute to observe. Notice how you feel. Notice what sensations have come up. Maybe notice where your mind has wandered. And then see if you can redirect it back. Bring it back to your body, back to your breath. Choosing what you want to focus on. Choosing where you want to place your attention. Good. As you're ready, softly blink the eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And those are our stretches for today. So thank you guys for joining for that. Um, I will go ahead and get set up for our meditation. If you want to hold tight for just a second, uh, I'll get that ready. All right, you guys. <clears throat> so we will again do the 10 minute meditation. Um, we've been doing that all week, so we'll continue to fin finish out the week with that. So we'll do it again once more today and tomorrow. Um, and as always, if you're new to this and you struggle with it, that's okay. It's totally fine. Um, it's, it's a practice for a reason, right? And I will continue to try and give you some tips and some guidance as, as we move through it. Um, just always keep in mind, you always have the opportunity to come back to it. So if you find yourself getting distracted throughout, or if your mind has wandered to another thought, be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself, acknowledge that that's okay, and then just come back to um, the guidance that I'm providing and come back to your breath, okay? So uh, thanks again so much, you guys, for joining. Um, we've gotten a lot of great feedback on this, and um, we really appreciate you all staying connected, and uh, we're very grateful for that. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So find yourself a comfortable seat. You can do this sitting or lying down, wherever you are safe and wherever you are comfortable. So let's just go ahead and take a few deep breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Good, a couple more just like that. Good. Always coming back to the breath and just allowing yourself to reset, resettle. So as always, I will offer some guidance throughout. <clears throat> Excuse me, I will be using the insight timer again. So at the beginning, you will hear a bell, you'll hear a gong-like sound, and that'll indicate the start of the 10 minutes. From there, all you have to do is breathe. Um, I will continue to provide guidance throughout. And then the last few minutes, I will let go of that verbal guidance and join you guys in the breath. And then we'll hear the final bell indicating the end of the 10 minutes. So just go ahead and relax. I invite you to close your eyes here, or at least soften the gaze. Expectations to uphold. No need for you to do anything. It's a 
simply just try to focus, focus on your breath. Watching each inhale and each exhale. And just take notice. Notice if you are trying to control your breath or if you're trying to force what it looks like. Simply be aware of that and then try to let go of that control. Release that hold. Release that expectation. I invite you to find a place in your body or a spot that you can focus on. Maybe it's the breath itself. Wherever it is, this is your anchor point. Maybe it's the nostrils. Maybe you watch right at the opening of the nose as the breath rushes in and then falls back out. Noticing what that sensation feels like. Maybe you focus on your chest, watching as it expands both forward and backward and sideways with every inhale. And then watch as it gently collapses with every exhale. Maybe your awareness is on your belly Watching as it fills up with every breath in and then empties with every breath out. Wherever this anchor point is for you, I invite you to come back there, come back to that place, come back to that spot. Knowing that that spot is a place of stability, consistency, security. And knowing that if you ever get distracted or if your mind moves away from that spot, that's okay. Acknowledge it, be kind to yourself, give yourself a moment, and then come right back to it. With every new breath comes a new opportunity. We all get the same chance to start again with every inhale. And we get the same chance to let something go that doesn't serve us with every exhale. If you notice different thoughts or sensations arising, maybe you're frustrated, maybe you're irritated, anxious or sad, Whatever it is, it's okay. Acknowledge it. Be grateful for the human mind and what it does. And then try to let it go. Knowing that those thoughts don't define you. They don't need to control you. You're capable of directing where your attention goes. 
bring that attention, bring that awareness back to your breath. Watching every inhale and every exhale. If you're able, start with one cycle of breath. Try to watch your inhale and exhale through each of their entireties. And if you get sidetracked within that one breath, that's okay. Start again. You have another chance. If you're able to get through one breath, try two. can make it through two, try three. Three is easy, go for four and just keep going. Knowing that you always have a cycle of breath to return to. Coming back to your anchor point. Bringing your aware awareness back inside. We're in the last few minutes here. I'm going to let go of the verbal guidance. I'll join you simply in watching the breath. We'll hear the bell indicate the end of the 10 minutes. And until then, just continue to follow the breath. Follow it as you inhale and follow it as you exhale. Ten minutes are over. Feel free to let go of any focus. Let go of any holding or any patterns. Just allow yourself to feel into this moment. Simply being aware. No need to label or judge, just acknowledging. Let 
As you're ready, softly blink the eyes open once again. Come on back into the space that you're in. And I want to thank you guys once again. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for being a part of this community that continues to support one another. Um, feel free to share with us today. Where are you directing your attention? Where are you sending your thoughts? It's easy to get drawn out and get drawn into the negativity, but share with us. Let us know how you're redirecting your attention. And I uh, hope you guys all have a beautiful day. Stay warm. Of course, it's supposed to rain, snow, be cold, and, and gross out. But use it, use it as an opportunity to stay inside, cozy up on the couch, maybe watch a movie or something. Um, and yeah. Have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for joining. We appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow morning.